Hello beauties, how are you today? How is your day going? I'm super excited today because we're finally going to play with Shannon XL newest eyeshadow palette. I've been waiting for this package for a very, very long time. By the way, my name is Cosmina. If you're new here, what we're doing on this channel, we're doing a lot of reviews, we're opening a lot of mystery boxes, and we're just having fun with makeup. And if you want to join, go ahead and press that subscribe button right there and give this video a thumbs up so I can get viewed by more people like you. Um, so this is the package that arrived from New Zealand just yesterday and I put my order in for this palette somewhere in October and I mean like so, so let me explain <laughs> okay um, and let's keep in mind today is December December the 12th or the 13th I think it's the 13th today I don't know but <laughs> what I'm trying to say back in October um, Shannon XO she said that she's coming with a new eyeshadow palette and uh, she put it on her website and said she only has a limited number available but they're gonna be more available in November but you have to pre-order them now in order to get it like mid-November so um, that's what I did I put my order in in mid-November in her month end of October I think it was and I got it today not mid-November I mean yesterday but not mid-November but you know and here it is here's the packaging this is how it arrived to me I really hope it's still in one piece just imagine getting from New Zealand all the way here to United States um, this little puppy had to travel a bunch of uh, uh, airline companies and a bunch of countries to get to me okay so here it is I hope it's still in one piece this one is called native and on the back she has a really nice um, message saying hello beautiful thank you so much for supporting my new palette uh, the native palette truly means the world to me and your support never goes unnoticed I hope you love everything about the palette I worked so hard to make sure it's perfect lots of love Shen Shannon and so XX I mean this is so pretty I have seen this palette when she announced it I was like oh my god I need to have it either way I will still have bought whatever palette she would have put out because I absolutely love her she is amazing she's an amazing youtuber and she have, makes a lot of beautiful looks but also last time uh, last year I tried her very first eyeshadow palette which I absolutely love is was called heaps of sweet but this one it's native and I remember I was looking at it because it was showing that it was neutral but with a little bit of green so are you ready to have a first look at it okay, ah. Ta -da. okay so this it's What do you guys think? You like it? I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Oh my god, I love the greens. I love the greens. Oh yes, Shannon. I love it. So we have four times three, 12 eyeshadow palettes. I mean, 12 eyeshadow shades. <laughs> Not palettes. 12 eyeshadow shades and we have a nice beautiful mirror on top over here. We have a bunch of greens in here. We have a bunch of neutrals. Some browns. A little bit of sparkle in there. But I know she does like her sparkle. So um, that's how it is. But it's definitely, I'm super excited to have it finally in my collection. By the way, my cat is trying to open the door right now because she wants to get out. Yeah, she just opened the door. She is an naughty cat. Anyway, let's get with the video. I'm actually excited. I want to try something today. I'm going to go with neutral, but a little bit of like, mmm, a little bit of zazz in there. 
so I definitely am getting drawn to this color right here, which is called Weka. Right here. And I'm going to take this one and just kind of put it all over my lid, kind of like a base. You know what I mean? And I'm going to take it all the way up, very, very close to my eyebrow. And it's a really nice neutrally shade but it has a little bit of a yellowish undertone to it which I really do enjoy you know brown skin with yellow yellow green so there we go oh that's so beautiful you guys oh man yes Next in here, let's see what we can go with. Uh, should we go with Falcon, Lulu, Kiwi? Hmm. I don't even know. Like I love all the shades, but which direction should we go to? Let's. I'm actually gonna take Lulu, or what is it? Lulu. Yeah, Lulu right here. I'm just gonna blend this right in here. I just closed the door and my cat is out on it again. She is such, such a troublemaker. She is a, such a troublemaker. Alright, so this week I just finished with my finals. I finished with my schooling. I'm so excited to finally have some vacation going on because I've been through a lot of stress. A lot of stress. And my skin is showing it. It's so, my skin is so mad at me. I don't even, I don't know. And she. I'm trying to put a lot, like I don't understand what am I doing that is wrong because I used to have a, a much better skin but this year it seems my skin is just freaking annoyed with me and it just keep, I keep breaking out and I'm so pissed off. Okay, so this is looking very, very natural, very pretty. I enjoy it a lot. So, mm, what do you guys think? So far, so good. I do really like her formula. Uh, like I said, I did try the other palette, so I was uh, expecting to like her formula. Her formula is really nice and blendable. Very nice matte. Um, but yeah, really pretty. I think I am going to go for maybe an eyeliner look. So I'm gonna go with this really dark green right here. And I'm just gonna do an eyeliner look with it. So I'm gonna take that green again. So I've been working on it for a little while, definitely not looking that great, but this is not the palette's fault, it's my fault. I think I dried this too much, but that's not a problem, we're gonna fix it at the end, I'm just gonna do a wing eyeliner, I think I'm gonna go for a grey eyeliner, but I do wanna try one of her little shimmers, so um... I really like the Kakap Kakapo. That's how you pronounce it. I have no idea. So I'm gonna go with this one right here. Wow, look at the shift of this. Wow, that looks so pretty. It has like a green and pink and purple shift to it. Oh, okay. Wow, this is so pretty. So this reminds me of that 
new highlighter is from Kaleidos. I think it's from Kaleidos that has like a million shifts in it. That's what this shade reminds me of. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. I sure do hope so because it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I don't know, do you guys see it? It's so gorgeous. This, mm, it's so good. I really like it. I definitely feel like I need something to darken this area up. Maybe I should get that green and darken over there and just not keep it as an eyeliner. So I'm going to go back with this green right here. And then I'm just going to darken this area. Like that. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm going to do. So nice. Ah, uh, I really, really, really enjoyed this one. So let me go and finish the other eye and then we'll come back and we'll see if I still want to go for an eyeliner look. We'll see. This looks so beautiful, you guys. I absolutely adore this shade right here. It's Kakapo or something like that. It's cold. I am blown away. I don't have anything like this in my collection. Nothing that sparkled this way. Like nothing. Honestly. This is freaking gorgeous. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I think I want to go under my eyes with should do the green. Let's do the green. I'm gonna take the green right here again. The, what is this called? Tua, Tua Tara? I don't know if I'm pronouncing these correctly. So the, the mattes are definitely a little bit powdery, so just so you know. You know, and I do really enjoy them, but they're not very good for eyeliners, I would say. If you want to create an eyeliner with them, not that great. But other than that, they're, they're perfect. They're very, very beautiful. And considering how powdery they are, I was expecting actually a little bit more fallout, but no, I barely have any. That looks so pretty. Oh, yes, I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a gray eyeliner. I want to do this one from Blink Cosmetics. And I got this one in a mystery, in a mystery box this year. And I do really enjoy this color. I think this one is gonna work better than a black. So that's that, and I'm gonna go in my waterline with this uh, Marc Jacobs. What is this called? Is it an olive? I think it was. I think that's what it's called. I don't see it over here. All of you. <laughs> now I can finally see it. So this is an eyeliner from All of You. I'm gonna go with this one in my waterline. And it's nice shimmery green. There we go. So I can give it a little bit more depth to it. I'm gonna put some mascara. Next for lips, I'm gonna go with KKW Lip Liner in New 2 and Morphe uh, Lip Gloss in Rose.
Alright, so I added a little bit more blush and a little bit of highlight from this uh, Wonder Beauty Wonderness Dust to Dawn. And I, I put this uh, blush and then I went with City Lights for my uh, highlighter right there. And uh, this is it. What do you guys think? I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. It's so pretty. I mean, the look that I was able to come up with, it's gorgeous. And I don't have anything like this in my collection. Let me come closer. Very, very pretty eyeshadow palette. Um, if you are interested in it, let me know down below but that's it for today thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and i will see you all next time take care